Hello everyone, this is 4x4 example solves with the Yao method. I will be mentioning some advanced things in here such as half centers and 3 2 3 edge pairing and so on. So if you don't know what I mean or you don't know how to do some of these techniques, I will kind of explain it here but I also have video tutorials on them in the description. So with that said, let's get right into it. Alright, so I only do white and yellow as my first two centers and I only do white cross, so just a heads up. So anyway, here we have a white bar and uh, we don't have anything particularly good on yellow, so I'll just do white first. So these two can pair up in one move, but I need to move this bar out of the way so I don't break it. Uh, make them like this, and then like that. So that makes the white center, and then now I have the yellow center. So I have this, this, and this. And um, how I'm gonna do this case is I notice that these two can pair up, so I'll do that first. Then I'll insert this one with this one. So that makes a bar at the top, and then insert this yellow bar. Meanwhile, I'm looking ahead to my white edges because I want to make the white cross edges next. So I see green and green. Now I have green here and green here, so I can pair them up, like set them across from each other and then go like that. Next, uh, whoops, next I see blue here, red here, orange here, so another blue back here, so I guess I'll do blue. So I can pair them up like this and insert it across from green. Next I see two oranges. So I can set them up like this and then insert orange right here. All right, so now I have, um, I see orange and orange and those are the only bars I see. So sometimes I'll do the half centers method, which uh, I have a tutorial in the description, but in this case where all I see is one center I can complete very easily, then I'll just start with that one. Then um, the green center, so like this, make this bar and bar up here. So insert it. Next is the red center. So like this. All right, next I wanna finish the last cross edge and put it in here, which is the red cross edge. So I see one piece is over here and one piece, whoops, one piece is over here. So what I can do with these two is go like that to bring this, this slice over. And then I wanna put this one over here so that when I slice back, it will be paired up with the other red one. So I can do that like this. Like that. Insert into the cross and then align the cross. Now I do a rotation and I want to solve the last eight edges. So I will start by doing a slice and then looking at this piece or this piece. And um, I saw this one, uh, blue and orange, has the blue and orange one over here. So I want to insert it diagonally down from, it, from there. So like this. Next one is green and red, which is this one here. So this is a special case where I want to get the green and red one here, but I can't because it's attached. So I'll just pair them up, take it out, and then go back. All right, now I need red and yellow in here. And then next I want blue and yellow in here. So like this, and then slice back. Now I've solved three cross edges plus that extra one that I, that I uh, did because of the special case. Now I want yellow and orange over here. So that's this one. Then I want yellow and green um, in here when I slice back. So like that. Then next I have last two edges, these two. So I can insert them so that they go across from each other like that, matching, slice, flip, slice back. So I didn't show the three by three stage because after that is just pretty much the same as a three by three. So I'll just continue with another solve. Um, here we have white is, uh, we have these four, which is not that great because we have these two diagonal. So I'll look at yellow. Um, yellow has this one in one, whoops. Yellow has this bar in one move. So I, I can do that, then make this bar then insert it into here. But I see another white bar can be made. So instead of um, instead of just inserting, I wanna preserve this white bar. So I'll move it to the side, start to insert, then, well, now I have a new bar. So I'll move this bar into the right side and keep going up. So what I essentially did here is cancel some moves so that yellow can be made at the same time I get a white bar at the top. Then I'll do these two. So insert into the top. Next, I see blue here and blue here, so I can pair them up like that. And green, this is pretty easy. And orange, All right? So for orange, I could do this. And then insert here. Next, I have blue, orange, and green. So I already see three half centers. 
so I can just do half centers. Alternatively, orange is pretty nice because it's already three colors, but I saw these first, so I'll go for half centers. In this, in this case, I wanna put blue here, orange here, and then green here. Next, I wanna solve the orange center, and conveniently, there's already a bar. Oh, and the, the green center happened to solve itself as well, so I got lucky there. And then how to solve blue. All right, that was a pretty easy last four center solution. I also skipped this cross edge, so I'll just insert it. Next, I'm going to go, I'm going to slice, and I see this um, is already solved. So uh, if I see that, normally what I'll just do is slice, and then say this is my first edge pair, and then just move on to, to the next one. But if I see another one solved in here already, then that's good, because that means when I do 3, 2, 3, I can essentially skip the 2 part in the middle. So I can just take this out, and I'll have two solved edges to start, slice, and then continue as usual. So uh, yellow and orange, yellow and orange, put this one in here. Then green and orange is already done. Then yellow and red, and that's it. So um, next, uh, so since I had two edges solved already, and I just did three, then I essentially skipped the two part in the middle, and now I just have last three edges. So I can insert this one into here like this, and then uh, get this piece into here, because yellow and green. And that's the edges. So white obviously has a bar, so it's looking pretty good. Yellow also has a one move bar, so I just want to take a quick look at that. And um, yeah, I'll just I'll just do white. I could actually make the yellow bar first, like this. Um, so I, I so I can keep track of this, then just make the white center by making this bar and then inserting into here. Now, typically, um, instead of just doing this, I want to keep a yellow sticker up here so I can insert this one with it, then just do the bar afterwards. So I'll just do an extra move here, and then there we go. Insert this, and then I see this here, but I notice that if I insert this up to the top, then this edge will actually stay preserved, like that. So next I'll insert it into here, and do the red cross edge, like this, and then orange and orange. So like this, all right, now I have, I see a green half center, so um, I'll just put that onto the side first, and then I notice red here, so also orange. So I could just go into half centers, so move orange over here, because that's where it goes relative to green, and then move red onto this side. So that wasn't the best first three half centers, but it was okay. So next what I see is I can do green like this, and then next I can, uh, I can either pair up orange or pair up red, but since I know red is over here, then red makes for a slightly easier solution. And then just insert orange into the, into the back. All right, now what I can do, um, normally what I do anyway is slice like this, insert this one into here, like that, and then slice back to pair them up, insert it into the cross, and now I see I have one solved edge, so I will just slice and say this is my first pair. Then my next pair will be yellow and orange, so this one's already done. So I'll flip it, and meanwhile I see that this one will go with this one. So I can insert this into the back, cancelled with the flipping algorithm. Then that's three edges. All right, so red and green here, with red and green. Then um, it goes with blue and orange, so I, I can't really do anything about this. I'll just, uh, this is a bad case, I'll just bring in a random edge next and then continue as usual. So it goes with this one. Uh, pair them up, goes with yellow, blue, go back, and then I have a last two edge scenario. So get them across each other, go on top, flip, and slice back. Okay, solve number four. Um, seems like I'm doing white first every time, but it does seem like white is better every single time. Yeah, so here I can, these two make a, a half center or a bar in one move, and these two are close, I can just set them up like that. And then that same move does both of them. Then I can just finish the white center like that. All right, so I have these two. I'll make that and then look at this. Insert into the top. I see orange cross edges here. So I'll track that. Um, make orange, blue, and blue. So make blue like this. And then here I have green and uh, red, red. So I'll just do red. All right, now, um, so I have blue here, red here, orange here, three half centers already. 
this is not common to have three, but having at least two is pretty common. So I, I have blue and red, I'll set up orange across over here. Then I'll solve the blue center because I typically solve the bottom center first. And then I notice here that as I'm coming down, the red half center is gonna be made, so I'll preserve it and then go straight into inserting into the back. Next I have orange. All right, and that's my centers. So I see, uh, I can't see where the green one is. I think it was, nope. Uh, oh, right, it's over here, okay. So how I can do these two, this is a very good case, is I just do this. And then that sets them up. All right, so this isn't a special case or anything. I just saw it many times, did it intuitively, and then memorized how to do it. So what I'm essentially doing is slicing like this, then inserting this edge into here so that when I slice back, they'll pair up. So that happens to be done like this. And the finger trick just happens to be really nice. All right, so next I'll uh, look at this edge and this edge, see which one's which one's better to start with. Um, so uh, this one. So yellow, orange, yellow, orange, then yellow, red, and then the red green pieces right here. So get that over here. Then I look ahead, this is yellow and green. So next I wanna start pairing with yellow and green. Now normally I prefer to have this edge at the front so I can see what I'm doing, but it doesn't really matter. I could have it at the back as well and then start inserting edges into this slot. So it goes with the yellow and green, so I'll insert this one, slice, and then goes with the yellow and blue, slice back, blue and red, slice, blue and orange, slice back. All right, solve number five. Here we have a nice yellow center. These two can be paired up in one move, then just insert it in here. So uh, just taking a quick look at what I have on white. There's nothing much. I do notice I can pair up these two afterwards. So I'll just go into the yellow center, pair up these, then insert it into the top. Meanwhile, looking ahead to where this one went with, to pair with this one, then just insert it into the top like this. All right, so next I have green here, uh, red, orange, this is not good, look ahead. I'll pair up these two. All right, then I have blue here and blue here, so I can, I see both reds here, so I can pair up the blues like this, and then insert it like this. Then I have orange and orange, so I can do them like this. I think there was a more efficient way to do that, but this is just how I think would be kind of faster. So. All right, so I've done the first three cross edges, then I see blue and red and nothing else really. So I'll probably just, uh, since I see the other two blue pieces, just go straight into the blue center. And then I see a red, an orange bar here, I mean, and orange and orange. So I'll make this bar here, then insert the orange bar like this. Next, I wanna put green here, so just like this. I can, instead of going like this to pair up this bar, Instead, I could just do um, kind of like an M prime turn and then go like that to save one move. All right, now I have uh, this one and this one. So I would just slice, insert this one over here and slice back, then insert. All right, so I see I have a solved edge here. So um, typically if I notice that I have a solved edge, then my for my first three, I will only do two edges instead. And the reason is so that I can kind of get a three, two, three going rather than um, have this edge plus the first three that I do becomes four. Then I have to do like two, two at the end, which is typically not as good. So anyway, blue and red, blue and red. And then I want yellow and green here. And I notice I made an extra edge. So I probably wouldn't have noticed this in a speed solve, but from here on, I'll just do, uh, I skip two. So I'll just do the first three as usual. Oh wow, I skipped a lot of edges. Okay, so I happened to skip three edges, so I just have a last two edge scenario here. And what I will do in this case is uh, just a last two edge algorithm, which goes like this. Now, if you wanna know all the last two edge algorithms I use, they are in the description of my 323 edge pairing tutorial, and that tutorial is in the description here. All right, so that's it, and I hope you learned something new. If you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments and I will try to get back to you. Also, you can message me on Facebook, link is in the description, and that's it, I'll see you next time.